Hello, it's Derek Watson here again from uh, First Impressions Dental Practice in Ramsgate in the UK. Uh, I want to talk about something that doesn't really just apply to the UK, it's an it's a, um, international issue and that's the question of pregnancy and dentistry. Now, um, we quite frequently get patients come in and say to us, um, I lost a tooth for every child or my teeth were fine until I got pregnant and then that's when I lost all my teeth. And uh, it's, it's sort of quite a firmly held belief that uh, pregnancy has an advert, adverse effect on uh, your dental health. Now, I think this has arisen for another reason, not because uh, pregnancy sucks all the calcium out of your teeth, because that is patently not true. What happens during uh, pregnancy, of course, the baby needs calcium, but the way that the baby gets calcium is from your legs, basically long bones in the woman's legs and that's the calcium metabolism and that's the way the, the, the baby gets calcium. Calcium that's in teeth is locked in teeth and uh, you cannot, you, I mean you could die of calcium, uh, a lack of calcium and not be able to access the calcium that is in your own teeth. The body just does not have a mechanism for accessing the calcium that's in your teeth therefore it's physically and technically impossible or physiologically impossible for you to lose calcium from your teeth to your baby to anything else. Now, so how has this arisen? Well, uh, I think it's arisen because for a long time, and by a long time, I mean 50, 60 years in the UK, we've operated a system whereby pregnant women get free dental care. Now, what this means is it brings a lot of people into dental care, and uh, not just because it's free, but also because during pregnancy, you're in contact with a lot of healthcare professionals, uh, the midwife, uh, your, your GP, um, that, uh, and so you're sort of sucked into the medical system and they'll all be saying to you, uh, you know, are you healthy? How are you feeling? And also, have you had your teeth checked? You know, I mean, have you had everything? Have you had your feet checked? Have you had your hands checked? Have you had your teeth checked? Is everything, you know, are you ready to give birth in effect? Well, um, the fact that and the fact that the dental treatment is free, uh, the advice tends to be, look, go along, get your teeth checked. It's free. Uh, and this is good advice. I mean, it's not saying it's bad advice. What I'm saying is it does lead to a torrent of women going to the dentist who perhaps haven't been for 10 years or perhaps who have been regularly but have needed work but have decided to defer it on the grounds of cost. Now, now of course, everybody likes something free. So um, what they do is they go in and they say, have at it. Uh, you know, I'm free, <laughs> do what you like, in fact, do as much as you like, in fact, do, don't just do what's needed doing for the last 10 years, I'd be very grateful if you do everything that might need doing in the next five years as well. And so, of course, pregnant women have a ton of dental treatment. And I think, I'm pretty sure that's why most women associate in their own minds uh, the, the children with uh, a lot of a lot of dental work. It does not mean that the children are causing the problem. Now, um, and that's an example of um, what happens when uh, healthcare systems and money distort uh, the, the the natural care. You know, this all this work is being deferred on the grounds of cost, and then it's being accelerated on the grounds of cost, and so you get a big blip um, during the pregnancy period. Now that's not saying, so, so let, can we just put to bed once and for all the fact that uh, having children sucks the calcium out of your teeth? It doesn't, there's no, there are no, I wouldn't say there are no dental effects of pregnancy. The one very, very uh, common dental effect is uh, gum swelling and it's actually got a name, it's called pregnancy gingivitis. Um, and that's where someone who normally doesn't uh, bother about her gums finds all of a sudden as soon as she gets pregnant that her gums are swollen, her gums are bleeding um, and uh, bleed, bleed when they're brushed and stuff like that. Now, um, fortunately, this is a temporary measure. It's caused by elevated uh, hormonal levels, which cause the uh, exaggerated response to inflammation. And um, even that is avoidable because what you're seeing there is people who normally don't brush all that well and don't forget nobody brushes as well as they think they do. Uh, but they have like a low level of infl inflammation and a low level of bleeding and um, don't really notice it. And then, of course, when they get pregnant, uh, because they're not brushing very well, they get a, an exaggerated response. So that they, they finally notice the bleeding, you know, finally it's so bad that they notice it. Then after the baby goes, and it goes away again. But the answer to that really is not just to think, oh, well, it's the pregnancy. The answer is to start brushing your teeth properly. And people who are very good at plaque removal and have uh, very low um, levels of gum disease don't get pregnancy gingivitis. Uh, it really is just 
uh, an obvious manifestation of something that shouldn't be there in the first place. So don't uh, worry about your teeth, don't get pregnancy gingivitis and enjoy your pregnancy.